in later position with Ace King makes it twenty seven thousand to go. Twenty seven hundred, excuse me. Cool. And Dowdy will call on the button with pocket trays. That's an absurd race size. Twenty seven hundred? Yeah, big opening. Just massive sizing. Dowdy doesn't care. He's got a pair. Ace King takes the lead on a flop of Ace Queen 10. Lee also has backdoor clubs. Big flop for him. He's going to check it. Uh oh. And let Dowdy fire into him. Working to perfection, this check from Lee. Doesn't change much here. He checks again. 5,000 the bet from Dowdy. Wow, Dowdy just going. And here Bananas. comes the check raise. Uh, holy cow. And Lee now going to check raise just oh, one pair. Top pair, top kicker on this board. Practically a min click. This 12, is 000. relatively insane oh, and unbelievable. Oh, what is happening? Welcome to Texas. Was checked to on the flop and the turn. Goes bet, bet. Lee somehow found a check raise with the ace king. Correctly, of course. Folds it. Wow. What a play by Dowdy. We got to show this one, right? We got to show it? No? We don't even show? Right. He had the goods. Well, now Lee with aces. And you know what? And Feng raising into him. Min click 2,400 with the aces. Put that on the mirror. He raised, right? Han Fang with Jack-10 suited, raising to 12. And Lee goes cool you guys to got John Turturro to be the TD here. <laughs> yeah, he does kind of look like John Turturro. Action back on Fang. Just <laughs> facing the men raise. You know, Lee, we saw him 9x open ace king a moment ago. Now here, just clicks at the 2400 as a three bet with the two aces. Oh boy. The, the TD. The oh, we've got action the, again. Like, like an actor, like John Maduro. Like, uh, what's his character in Rounders? What is that? What is that? Kanish. Kanish. 2,500 the bet from Lee. Jesus. Among others. <laughs> See ya. Raised to 7,000. Check raised from Fang. One raise. 22,500. Re raised to 22,5. Okay. All right. Now we're putting in the three bet on the flop. <laughs> oh, my. This might work out for Lee. It looks super tilty. It does look a little tilty. Rarely do you see the quick stare down, undeterred shuffling of the chips and instantly make it 22 and a half. Uh, you know, could look tilty, but also just looks remarkably strong and committed. Yeah. The Jack 10 suited shrivels up. Uh, not a lot of live reads going on. Yeah. All, All right, here we Fang. are. I call. Go. Call now. Back to back hands for Lee. And he's in really good shape here. King of Hearts gives Feng some straight outs, but Lee with the Ace of Hearts. Oh, bingo. Wow. And Jack gets there. Tens. Two monster hands back to back for Lee, and he is out. Left with 1,100 oh, yeah. chips, I think. Yeah, not quite out, but. Oh, what a gross start for Lee. First, just gets bluffed out of his pants and then gets aces cracked the following hand. And we've seen this now twice with Becker with the 
suited connecting types of cards in later position. First time it was on the button with 5-4 suited, now on the cutoff with Jack-8 suited. We know he can build stacks early in tournaments, and I think we're seeing how and why he does just that. Very aggressive with the three bets, these types of holdings. But as you said, he ran into it this time. 10,000, the new number from Fang. Ace-King on the button. No hesitation, by the way, with that three bet out of Fang. Just quickly grabs the 10K, two chips, flicks it out there. Becker certainly has become one with the live reads. Time to gamble. Oh, my. What a flop for Becker. Just smashing it. <laughs> that is about as hard as he can hit that flop. 6,000 the bet from Fang. Becker checking over. Or just continue to call with this sort of equity in hand. And going, he's going to build. Yeah, going for the check raise now. 14-5. Even if he's up against what could be two aces in his mind, he's just content and happy with getting it in. Be left a little bit open for Fang to want to continue. And look at this. Yeah. And now the SPR basically one-to-one -one here for Becker. He's got less than a pot size bet in his stack now. A little jittery. Fang studying over, looking, thinking, I still don't believe this guy. Oh, my gosh. He sends him in. All in from Fang, or enough to put Becker all in anyway, and an instant call, and Becker in great shape here. As you mentioned, only four live outs for Fang. Oh, my goodness. How does he do it? And a safe river card. Beck's going to double up. I, I mean, Fang just for whatever reason, decided to go nuts with Ace-King. And Pecker finds a massive double up. Raises to 25. Seidel flipping in a call real quick with pocket fives in the small blind. We'll be heads up. And a five Whoa. on board. Straight flush draw for Mendoza. Holy cow. We could see some action here. A massive flop for both players. Seidel checks. 3,500 is the bet for Mendoza. I mean, this is just crazy. Yeah, both of these players super deep. 100 big blinds each. Uh, there's a world in which this is a near chip lead pot if the money gets in. There is Seidel putting in the raise. Check raise to 9,000. Now for Mendoza, how to proceed with this open-ended straight flush draw. Looks like a re-raise inbound. 22,000 now. Oh my goodness. Seidel's worried about two hands exactly. Top set of jacks. And probably 6-4 of spades or a hand like ace-4, ace-deuce of spades that could be playing extremely aggressive, right, right with a big draw. So very few hands is he worried about, clearly, when you have middle set of fives, considering now how to navigate. He is going to come with another raise. Letting him know where he's at here. 45,000, essentially half of their stack. This is a four bet on the flop. Unheard of territories.
we could be playing for the chip lead of the tournament right here, right now. All there we go. In. I don't see how Eric can get away from this, even if he puts him on jacks. He's got a call. Look at this. <laughs> Straight flush draw versus middle set. Let's go. The equity is about a 60 40 scenario. Seidel, a slight favorite to the turn. And remains so. Pair does not help Mendoza. The seven Whoa. gets there, makes a straight for Mendoza. He's going to double up through the legend. And Seidel will be eliminated. Just like that, just cruising along. And then a button small blind situation develops into a disaster for Seidel and his set of fives. A 230,000 chip pot. I call that here. Carpenter, to only about 10 big blinds, wakes up to two red kings. And that those chips are going in the middle. <laughs> Williams, Williamson opened this one from under the gun with Jack 10. Masterloff in the big blind with deuces, gets Such out of the way. a great spot to have two kings and 10 bigs. Starting to become a splashier time in the tournament, too, where players, you know, they have a tendency to just get more involved in hands. As these levels go up, they start to look around and see bigger stacks and maybe panic and say, oh, I got to build. It's my time. I got I to gotta win pots, you know. Right. Looser calls have a tendency to happen later on during the day. Dinner break coming up in a half hour. Right. It's like, do I want to wait, wait out a break or do I want to build a stack right now? Now, down here in Houston, that, that all starts level one, apparently. Sure. Williamson just hoping his cards are live, but he is, in fact, in a ton of trouble. Now it's a sweat. Williamson picks up a pair. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh my. my. What? What a run out. Carpenter That's gross. waits for the Kings, gets them all in. He good. had to go perfect, perfect. And he did. Oh. It's Mazerlov again, opening to 3,500. This time ace queen in the cutoff. Williamson will be his opponent again, this time on the dealer button with Ace-King. A three bet to 11,000. This cutoff dealer dynamic is, without a doubt, a cooler. And you heard the little subtle jabs back and forth a moment ago. Williamson kind of felt like he was being bluffed. And now Williamson puts in the three bet. This is just very unfortunate timing for Mazurlov. Yeah, he makes the call here. We will see a flop, and it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out with the positions reversed. Ooh. Oh, top, top for Mazurlov. Stack's almost identical. All in. Uh, <coughs> what? <laughs> Just rips 80,000? 3x pot into 26. What? <laughs> huh? This guy's ready for dinner break. Uh, I mean, if I'm Mazurloff, yeah, we hesitate. We him, we haw, but wow. Uh, not folding ace queen. This <clears throat> makes no sense whatsoever. I don't think there's a world in which Williamson would ever do this with a set of tens, two kings, or two aces. No way. No wow. way. Wow. What? what? Oh. King Jack. I mean. What a move. Had the best hand. 
You want me to show you? Yeah. Here's my print. I want to see. The best wow. Print. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Lofsing, he Not could have just doubled up here. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>